submarines, the hell-diving, fathom-eating battle boats of Uncle Sam's undersea navy. Of all varieties of vessels operating with our national naval forces, the submarine is the most unique. A little more than 25 years ago, the only ship that deliberately went below the surface of the water was one that was scuttled. Today, the submarine flaunts its fins in the face of Davy Jones, and the fanciful romancing of Jules Verne is an accepted reality. But contrary to the popular conception, each submarine is not operated by its commander as a private navy. The boats are organized into squadrons and attached as units to the fleet. Each squadron has its own tender or mothership, which serves as a mobile base. It is completely equipped with a machine shop and facilities for repairs and refit. The torpedo is the traditional weapon of the submarine. But because its cargo space is limited, it cannot carry a large supply aboard. The mothership is a floating magazine, storing in its special vaults enough surplus torpedoes to supply the tubes of the whole squadron. Special diving crews are attached to the tender, charged with underwater repair work. machines need fuel in order to operate with efficiency. So food, oil, and other necessary supplies are put aboard preparatory to a practice diving cruise. The Navy regards its submarine service with special pride, for its craft are masterpieces of mechanical perfection, and its crews are more than seamen, they are trained technicians as well. They must be, for the sub is little more than a monster engine in a watertight shell. There is no room for the extra refinements of the capital ships. Here, everything and everybody has its place and its purpose, be it a man or monkey wrench. The efficiency of our undersea squadrons guarantees the boast that they're the best boats that ever washed their conning hatch with black water. Standing out to sea, the squadron gets underway for a few days of deep water maneuvers. Constant practice with these intricate vessels is vital to keep the service in fighting trim, for inactivity rusts both men and machinery. The submarine is similar in many respects to a destroyer. Lightly armed, it can perform scouting and reconnaissance work, convoy the slower ships and lay mines. Its primary value, however, lies in its ability to submerge and launch surprise attacks on large, heavily armed vessels. For one well-placed torpedo, will sink or disable anything that ever slid down the waves. 